I'm, I'm extremely Parliament, like but not as we know it. Order. Order. The House is meeting today in exceptional and unprecedented circumstances. Adorned with a sea of no sitting signs and only the odd green tick, the chamber's capacity has been slashed from 650 to just 50. Hazard tape on the floor reminds those who are present to keep their distance. For the first time in the Commons' 700-year history, MPs are being asked to do their jobs remotely. The return from Easter recess comes amid growing anger at the official response to COVID-19 and blistering accounts of government inaction in the early days of the outbreak. We've got 4,000 entrants. One key charge, a failure to foresee shortages of personal protective equipment for frontline workers. With Prime Minister Boris Johnson still recovering from the virus, it fell to his health minister to deny claims that an initial decision not to take part in an EU procurement scheme was politically motivated. There was no political decision not to participate in that scheme. Uh, when the, we did receive an invitation in the Department for Health, because it came to the Department for Health, um, it, it was put up to me to be asked and we joined. So we are now members of that scheme. Another charge being levelled at the government, mismanagement of a growing number of field hospitals set up across the country. Dozens of COVID-19 patients have been turned away for treatment at the Nightingale Hospital in London, not for want of beds, but because there weren't enough nurses to care for them.